All right, hello everyone. I'm Zapsa Broad. Uh, we should be live. I'm just trying to make sure. So let's see. All right, so let me know. Let me know if you can hear me. All right, so I'm just right here waiting for the competition to start. Just wanted to start the stream off a little bit early to make sure everything is working properly. I was actually going to start at like 30 minutes early, but I'm like, you know, too long of a wait time. So how's everyone doing? Everyone ready for the competition? Can anyone hear me? Hopefully. Um, I also have Discord pulled up in case you want to message me through there. And honestly, I, I hope Land Rush goes okay, because I'm, I'm trying to get a mountain with a desert. That's my main goal right now. So if I can get that, I already got my, uh, the build I'm going to make ready. I'm going to do an old barrel rush, try to build up a lot of cash for a good while, and then slowly start working on my finished bicycle build. I practiced it yesterday for uh, basically the whole day yesterday. And so it was doing 18 bicycles per hour, which is, I think that's really good. I was aiming for at least 15. But the issue is I noticed I was negative on cash. So I don't think the build will run like a whole three or four days. Like I'll probably run out of cash. That, that's what I'm thinking. So I might have to rush pretty hard for cash in the beginning. So what I'll probably do is set up my oak barrel rush and leave it running for a good amount of hours. I'm not sure exactly how long, but I'm just I'm just worried I'll probably run out of cash when I do a bicycle build. But we'll see. We got seven minutes. And right now really I'm just waiting. No, Grumpy DK says I'm going to spill all my secrets, but like I always share it. everything with y'all. So. <laughs> what secrets? My NFTs? And if you can't get a mountain, at the very least get a desert. Because you want your green timers on your sand mines. And also the oil seep helps out a lot. Because I know not everybody has the... Uh, Passive oil NFTs. Oh, so if for some reason you're watching this recording later after it's posted, just skip ahead to when the competition starts. But for everybody watching live, let's see. Oh, scam game, right? Well, it's free game. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there. Actually, can I? Finance. Hmm. I might not even be signed into the chat. So I let me see. I think I can see y'all's messages, but let's see. See if I can sign into chat. Oh, okay, I see how. So everybody can hear me, right? Because I haven't made sure. Let me make sure. Should be able to. Yeah, because it would kind of suck if they couldn't. Okay, so that's how I chat. All right. Cool. But hey, hopefully it's working. Four more minutes for the competition to start.
Okay, group dot doc. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not gonna talk to myself and then nobody can hear me for like the whole competition. <laughs> that would suck. But at least you get to see what I do. Man, I I love this monitor. I got a wide monitor, so I have the game running on like one side, and on the other side, I can see a uh, Streamlabs, and I got Discord open. And I got the town guide website open. Do we need ocean? You don't really need an ocean. No. Unless you're going to do magic powder. Because then you can make a green timer brine. And you could have your sand mines next to the ocean. Then there'll be green timer. But you could just do that with a desert. So you don't need an ocean. But it does help. I'm not going to go for an ocean. How do you usually start? Well, you're gonna you're gonna see how I do it, because I don't actually stick around in the screen. I go back to the app.gala.games, and right at eleven a.m. I'll click games, and then I'll launch Townstar. You'll see how I do it. This is gonna be a secret right away. One of my secrets. <laughs> I can hear you. Thank you, Gainer or Wood Ward. And nice to see you all. Thank you for joining. It says I have 14 viewers. I thought I was going to get like five viewers. Uh, I'm playing. You're playing right now? The competition starts in three minutes. So what location will be the best? Says Sing, Sing Ten Pa. Um, the very best location that I recommend is a desert right next to a mountain. Uh, those spots are really hard to get though so at the very least get a desert because there's a lot of deserts and of course you want it to be as close to a city as possible that way your cell times won't be that long Sing and, tap. and nice to finally see you <laughs> kind of hard to pronounce some of y'all's names Sing -tam, Sing -tam -pa. yeah i guess i'm not very good at pronouncing names <laughs> Uh, one, one minute and a half. So it's probably delayed on my side, so just keep that in mind. Um, make sure you do land rush properly. Like, don't pay attention to me until you get your spot. If you're going to compete in the competition, that is. Which I'm assuming most of y'all will. Then again, it's a gala reward. So when it's a gala reward, not everybody competes. Like, some people don't bother. Because it's really not a lot. If you get if you barely get top of a thousand, it's like what 150 gala, it's like four dollars. Eh. So it's nothing to some people. A is pronounced ta. Sing ta. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> My mountain. Hey, we'll see how it goes. I don't even know. I haven't picked a spot yet. Um, on my little build design, I like to have the mountain to the left. Ah, uh, your name means villager. Okay. Let's see, oh, we got 30 seconds, so hopefully this works out. What's the best location to get? A uh, desert with a mountain. See, gotta wait till eleven any second now. You know what I did forget? There we go. To copy paste my name. All right, it's eleven on my side. We'll see how this goes. It's gonna get stuck at sixty percent, and hopefully it loads up in a bit. Usually takes a minute. I do have an idea of what spot I want to get, but I, I don't know. We'll see. I have to wait until I get a spot. Hopefully it loads. I did it right at 11. I always like to check Discord because everybody's like in the same position. Like they're waiting at 60%. <laughs> Ah, this is like the most nerve-wracking spot. Okay, there we go. Nope. 
that one. Okay. Um, the good spot, not the main spot I was going for. I was going for like this, this. I could have gotten that spot. That spot would have been pretty good. But like, you know, I'm not going to risk it. Make sure all my skins are on. Uh, the turkey skin I don't really care about right now. I'm going to sell everything that I don't need. I'm going to sell my gasoline. It's cool. I'll keep the depot for now. Sell my gasoline. Put down my dragon. See you at 60%. Huh? <laughs> Everybody's at it was at 60%. Get rid of everything that I'm not planning on using. This storehouse, I'm not, I'm not planning on using. The well, screw the well. I don't need the well. All right. Uh, I'll keep the four gasoline for now. Okay, so first thing I need to focus on is to try to do my overrush. So y'all might see me looking over here. It's because I have the town guide website pulled up with a uh, design for the overrush I'm going to do. Let's see. First thing I need to do is put down my my water, my legendary, my legendary water tower. Oh, we'll see how fast I can do this. So there's one. Actually, there's a couple of things I should be doing. Because I I'm gonna need lumber mill, so I actually want to put a red water pump here for later, and let me make some roads right here. Oh, and I don't I'm not gonna use this oil seed. I don't need it. I'm gonna use uh, dragons as cell. Let's see. My first my first lumber mill is going to be right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a lot of stuff, so we'll see how I can do it. I'm going to put, like, two builder houses for now. Put more of those. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. I'll let that build for now. See where's my second legendary water tower gonna be at? The corner oak tree right here. All right, gotta get rid of uh, this. Well, lucky for me, I have the full set of ornaments, so everything's seventy-five percent cheaper to actually clear. Makes this easier at the beginning. I'm going to need a bunch of lumberjacks in a bit. I know that. Built a bunch of roads over here. Going to have my lumberjacks all around these roads. I don't even have the trees up yet, but you'll see I'll add some trees right now. Some oak trees because I'm going to make oak barrels to sell. Oak trees. Okay, that's fine. That's that's probably more oak trees than I need right now. So this is going to make oak barrels. As you can see, I need iron and energy. I'm gonna have passive energy using the rare solar panel, and I'm gonna have passive iron using the legendary stagnant ride. You can see this has passive iron, passive energy, just needs the oak trees, the oak wood from the oak trees. That's why I added lumberjacks. And that's the very start. I just need to scale this up way more. But before I build another um, lumber mill, I'm going to need more wood. So I'm going to need regular trees. 
what's a sound desert build for money um if you have no nfts i would say flower because there's not a lot of water and for flower you don't need water you just need the leaf and wheat doesn't take a lot of water just make sure your uh windmills have a green timer and then eventually i would say transition to wool because wool is going to get you more money than flower flower doesn't really give you a lot you just do flower at the very beginning and then eventually try to sell iron because i know it sells for a little more i don't know how many people are going to do magic powder i know it's cash boosted but I just think it's really annoying. The building, the Master Wizard, is super expensive. Okay, so I have more wood. i build. See, it's making an oak barrel, but I don't even have my warehouse down. <laughs> um, I have a big warehouse. There you go. I destroyed it. Oh, well. I already lost one. See, I wasn't thinking. Okay, so I'm actually going to have two big warehouses. It's all good. I noticed it right away. I'm going to have wood storage right here. Uh, lumber yard. Going to take some wood. Well, obviously this was this isn't gonna go perfect, but it it's gonna happen. We're gonna make this oak barrel launch happen. Okay, there we go. I got my first oak barrel. Need a ramp up reduction. Oof. Hopefully, y'all can't hear all the clicking because I think I uh, adjusted the volume so y'all won't hear the clicking. And hopefully, the volume is better than the last video because the way I had my mic positioned. It was like to the side and now I have it to the front. Bunch of oak trees, there we go. Okay, I can build more stuff. I can build more uh Lumber mills. Oh, I got wood storage. I'll put my legendary lumber storage here for later, because later I'll actually be making uh lumber. And in case y'all don't know about the ghost store trick, make two buildings face each other like that, and you'll see in a little while that they'll be able to enter and exit the building from any direction. Oh, I see that. More oak barrels, okay. And I know I need more oak trees. I don't know if y'all saw that right there, but like this dude literally went behind the warehouse and still put in an oak barrel. That's what the ghost door trick does, and it actually increases your uh, rate. So it's very efficient. But that won't stick around forever. I believe they they say they are gonna get rid of it when the uh, new version of Townstar comes out. Oak barrel. Why desert is it for the oil seep? The oil seep really helps a lot, yes, but um, the main reason is because bicycles, you're going to need silica, silica from sand mines, and you want those sand mines to be green timer because it's six times faster than the red timer. So if you do it somewhere where the sand mines have a red timer, you're going to end up wasting a lot of space or you're just not going to make that many bicycles. Make sure I'm not going to go broke either. 
Third right there. All right. Here. And right here. Is that right? Uh, it's not, but whatever. More roads. All right, I'll probably need more lumberjacks. Trying to keep up, but my ponds are taking too long. Are you trying to? Are you trying to build more ponds? Yeah, I know building building ponds is annoying. I just use my legendary water towers to fulfill the water requirement. What do I have on auto sell? I don't even have it on. Okay, add oak barrels to auto sell and turn auto sell on. I actually don't need my dragon here right now. And, you know, I'll, I'll just put down my uh, Express Depot right, so I can get rid of my Trade Depot. It's one gas here either way. It's a pretty good spot. Louis de Point. Yep, don't have the water towers. But someday, yeah. Water towers are really good NFT. Like, if you were planning to buy any of the new Christmas buildings and you don't have water towers, like, ah. I would just go for the water towers first. Because uh, the water towers are going to help you in like every single type of situation. I need more trees, huh? Oh, for sure I need more trees. I got too much wood. I don't need that much wood. I need them to uh, pick up more output. Yeah. Yeah, I only need that much wood if I'm making uh, lumber. And right now I'm just... I could, but I just focus on old barrels. Hmm. Yeah, they're on my crosshairs, but got too expensive for them. Well, who knows what will happen? Either the NOTs will get even cheaper or, even, or more expensive. For the time being, no more. down more more of these. I have the uh, ancient Grand Oaks effect card also so it's supposed to make them grow even faster. It's just going to be a lot of clicking right now. There's a uh, more old girl right here. I probably could do this even faster, but sometimes I like blank out. I'm like, what was I doing? I'll go into the store and I'll be like, what was I trying to buy? I got to go back and check. Uh, but this quick buy thing, it helps so much. Okay, I don't have five water there right now. Because I actually plan on building two ponds right here. And really, I, I don't think I even need to build those two ponds because I have NFTs. Death row records. Somebody gave me this Death Row Records. I believe it was L LV Postman. Thank you so much for that. 
And I also have the outcomes in OK. This one, I won it off somewhere. It was off some um, AMA they did. I forget exactly which one, but um, they asked five people. Five people got their question answered, and if you got your question answered, I believe you you got a code for Alpha Fountain. Okay. Johan Thalier. Hey, how are you doing? I think I got your website on the description of the video. <laughs> Okay, so now we can add even more oak trees. More, more, more. What's the ranks looking like? Not like not like they matter right now. Well, place. <laughs> uh, Willow's on fourteenth. That's cool. No, nah, not not like they matter right now. Um, I might not be making enough oak wood because if I was, they would be going into the witch shed. It's also possible I might need more lumberjacks at this point, but uh, I'll add more in a bit. <laughs> uh, let's just spammers. There's no hot girls in town, Star. Let's see, add more. Add more lumber mills, add more lumberjacks. And I'm going to need more roads. Eventually, I'll get rid of this. Let's see. Got my road situation over here. Legend of Zekrom. Who is Paramin Kag because he keeps winning? Who is Paramin Kag? Yeah, I'm not sure who you're talking about. Oh, this dude. I have no clue. Ruka, I'm hurt. Why are you hurt? Did your land rush not go to plan? You were too nervous. I was nervous too. Is it me or is this very laggy? I'm not sure, is it? I hope not. Yeah, I hope it's not laggy. This is the first competition I do on my uh, the new computer, and it's great. It's not lagging at all. Even when I had my finished build, it was not lagging, which is awesome. So I ran out of gas, so now it's going to sell 25 at a time, so I don't need the Express Depot. What I do need is uh, my Dragon, and I'm going to have that down here somewhere. So now my Dragon will sell 25 at a time. <laughs> no hot girls in town, sorry. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to stay quiet. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Even more oak barrel. With the ghost door trick. I think I had it like this. You're gonna beat Paramin? I have no clue. Like, if I can get top 100, I'll be happy. I would need to get top 50 to even win a thousand gala. And. I don't think I've ever been top 50 in a gala reward competition. I have gotten top 100 though. Twice, I believe. More of these in case I need to build stuff later. Can I add more trees or is this the diet at the moment? Well, right here. Couple more right here. Ah, I see. I am getting excess oak wood now, so I probably have more than enough. 
get rid of this rock. Do y'all know? Do you know who Perriman is? I I don't know who that is. There's a bunch of oak trees. I'm getting the impression you think I'm a guy. No, you're not a guy. How would you get that impression? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going fast. Good thing I practiced for this because I kind of already know what I'm doing. We'll just see where it lands me because I have no clue where what I'll get. Got the worker house. This is how I'm gonna get my energy. I'm gonna have a worker house and build um what do you call it? A wind turbine. And they're just gonna put it in these big warehouses. And I'm gonna use that energy to build, you know, everything that needs energy. Because all these making uh oak barrels, they don't need any more energy. They have it all from the original wood panel. Do I need more lumberjacks? I probably do. It might rain here where I live. Uh, thankfully, it hasn't rained yet, but y'all might hear. Y'all might hear rain, I'm guessing. Not really sure. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of this. Is that it? Is that the whole barrel rush? Did I do it? So I got all my lumberjacks here. I don't need this uh, fuel storage anymore. Uh, let me clear the scrubs while I think. That might be the whole old barrel rush. And in order to make more money, I'm probably going to sell feed on the side. Let me check my sell times. 36 seconds. I might not be able to sell that much feed. So I am going to make some lumber with this one right here because it's going to have the passive water drums from the water or the, from the rare water pump that's why i put that right here and i'm going to need lumber to plan out where i'm going to have the paved roads later and of course for everything that needs lumber did it make it about to So passive energy, passive water drum. So how's it going for everyone? It's like 25 minutes into the competition. Probably waiting for a flower or wool to sell or something. Now, when you play without NFTs, it's usually pretty slow. But when you have NFTs, like it's fast like this, there's always something to do, at least in the beginning. But of course, everything's faster because you have a bunch of passive resources. No NFT start is boring. Yeah, I know it is. I've done no NFT start. Yeah, it's slow. I skip flower, went straight to wool. Yeah, that's usually what I do, crypto dot. But um in the desert it, it's kind of hard to go straight to wool. It's possible, but yeah, it's hard because you only got the one pond. 
And do you need water for your sheep pens and your trees? I guess, well, if you have enough ornaments to lower the build costs, it might be easier, but then, then you're using enough tea, so. So, if I make feed, I really can't sell a whole lot of feed, though. Because the delivery times are 36 seconds. But I could try and see how that works out. Where do I have? Somewhere right here. I'll, I'll try it out. See how it works, because I didn't actually try this when I did my Oak Girl Rush when I practiced it. Put feet on the side, just to keep the dragon always busy. Three pawns. Yeah, three pawns would be enough for uh, one sheep pen and one or two trees. Well, actually, a couple. Yeah. Enough passive water for like six pots. I need more trees, huh? No more, more uh, regular wood. Because I'm trying to make uh, lumber on the side, and I see it's not it doesn't have enough wood for it, and also I need wood for other stuff. Um, one more tree just in case. I'm just glad it let me stream because I wasn't even sure it was gonna let me. Because I hear some people try to start a uh, stream and um, oh, that's the wrong one. Some people try to start a stream and it won't let them for some reason. Like I don't really know why. This is probably going to be too much speed, but um, we'll see. We shall see what happens. Just trying to sell feet on the side. That's five, six, seven, eight of them. The feed bots for the uh <laughs> for the feed rush. As you'll see in a little while once everything builds. I keep trying to uh quick place the feed bot shacks. That would be nice, but I can't do that. Number two, top gamer V number two. Oh gosh. <laughs> number three now. But yeah, good catch. That's funny. Yeah, that's not gonna last. You have the Christmas ornaments, I do. I have the uh, full set. Full set. And these effect cards. Uh, legendaries and ancients. I was number two. Oh, I am number two. Oh, that's cool. Good start. Pretty good start. Very good start, actually. I got the spot I wanted. Otherwise, this would have been a hassle. If I didn't get the spot I wanted, I'm like, oh, dang, I can't even copy the design I had in mind. I have to change it up. Clifton Duplice. Over here wishing you the best of luck. Thank you. I, I believe Eternal Essence, I believe. Thank you. Thank you very much. What else can I make? Paved roads, a couple paved roads. Might as well. Not too much oak wood. Okay. No, no, no. I need wood for um for all this, so I need to temporarily pause my lumber. That's what I need. Okay, so pause my lumber. Put it back to oak barrels temporarily.
do I need to... No, I should be okay. Gotta wait on wood to do this, uh, need rush situation over here. Yeah, EE, -E, eternal essence. What else can I do right here? Plan out some stuff I'll have in the future. Gotta plan ahead a little. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna be rushing um, oak barrels for a good while because I'm gonna need a lot of money. My build is going to consist of either five or six nuclear power plants. I found out while I was testing it, I can get away with five nuclear power plants, and I might do that, but I won't have passive energy on the blue steel mill. But, um, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I think I'll be cash negative on my final bill, so I'll, I might run out of money. Farming sugar to get started, don't think I'll be able to compete in this time. Compete this time. Oh, well, sugar is a good start, too. If you have enough water for all of it. Tin Tone. Game pay to win. LOL Gala. Everything is pay to win though. Like. Uh, pretty much everything is pay to win. Um, but no. You can actually win without NFTs. So some people will play the game. Don't invest any money. And then they actually win. So that's pretty cool. And I've proven that you can. With the uh, no NFT builds that I make. Of course, it's hard. You have to put a lot of time into it. I, I remember May Mayhem. I I didn't have any fancy NFTs. Like, I didn't have no lead in your watch. But I had, I had a few. I think I had a weed scent. So really, the most important NFT I had during May Mayhem 2022 was a weed scent. And there was four competitions, and in each competition, I won $150 worth of gala. So that whole month was $600. I know that's May Mayhem, so it's not like every month, but that, that's pretty good for like just one NFT. Uh, maybe I had the Miranda skins as well. What do y'all think? May Mayhem 2023, they're going to give away... Um, I think they're going to give away... Like three million dollars worth of prizes. Don't quote me. I have no clue. I'm just speculating. Would be nice. So um, I'm getting feed now. I'm gonna add it, and it should sell it. Oak barrel should have priority over it. So yeah, so oak barrels. And then when there's no oak barrels to sell, it should sell feed. And yeah, I'm always gonna. Have, I'm always gonna have twenty five feed. It's just there's too many feed mills, but whatever. This is just the idea I had in mind for a feed rush on the side. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's gonna stick around for a little while. I am going to start paving some of these roads because I will need them later. Really, right now, I'm mostly just generating cash. I think I have all the uh, trees I can plant right there. Clifton says, true, I won an uncommon NFT thanks to Dub and Milfat. Nice, way to go. Hopefully you can get even better, a rare, an epic, but it's so good. And it's going to be helpful for every other competition. Uh, well, I think for that competition, they're going to give away uh, the guided, the gilded barns effect card, which lets you make faster milk. Um, what do you use milk for? Cake builds. It's not going to help in every competition, but it'll help in some of them. These ponds right here are for later, like where I'm going to have my uh, water, my uh, water pump. Yeah. So what I do, temporarily remove both of my legendary water towers and place them here. And boom, you see? Pond built. And 
repeat the process for this pond over here. Those are just the ponds I can make right now. Thinking ahead. Right there. Then I gotta place them back because I need my oak trees to grow. There you go. Hmm, maybe that's all I can make. So really right now I'm just paving roads, waiting for cash. And we're 36 minutes in. Oh, I'm um, dropping the farmers first. Thanks. But yeah, the, the ranks don't really matter right now. And in case you didn't see what spot I got, I got this spot. I believe I practiced on this spot. So I was pretty close. The main spots that would have been the best were this one. And that one, because I'm delivering with dragons, so we would just go five spots like that. Um, and I could have gotten that one, but uh, I panicked a little and I just went over here. Still a good spot. Yeah, this would have been a little faster, so the feed rush situation would have worked out better. I'm not... Am I selling feed? No, I think I did sell feed that time. And it, it's going to sell oak girls right now. Ooh, just keep paving roads. I'm going to need uh, to transition back to lumber in a bit. I know for sure I'm going to need all these roads paved because I'm going to have 16 mountains across. 16 mountains. 16 iron mines across the mountain. It says I have 40 viewers, that's way more than I was going to get. <laughs> 10 tops. Nah. That's cool, thank you. I appreciate everyone stopping by to hang out. I did this too quick. Yeah, there's really not much more I can do. If y'all need any help or have any questions, let me know. Because really right now, I'm mostly just going to be waiting. Uh, feed's not going to make me that much money. It's probably just going to sell one feed in between every oak barrel I sell. We did point. Yeah, man, you helped us a lot. We're, we're here for you. Thank you. <laughs> we ready for this. Yeah. I'm not even that worried about this competition because it's a gala reward. Uh, but still, it's cool. How much was that feed or oak barrel? That was feed. So a stack of feed gives like 8,000. That's almost nothing. It's probably an irrelevant amount of cash, but oh well. I don't pay any money for these feed bots. Like no wages, I mean. I probably don't need as many feed mills, honestly. Even even that's probably too much. I need to fight it off so um they can store twenty five feet. Is oak barrels needing one iron? It does. It needs one iron. Did I um forget to turn lumber? Oh no. One iron. If you have the uh, slide and ride NFTs, they get passive iron. The epic one gives one passive iron, so you can have six of them. Or the legendary slide and ride gives two passive iron. Which has a way wider range. I'm only running eight lumber mills, and one of them I usually switch to lumber so I can start paving roads early. That's deep scene. I am settled in plains by two river, not a mountain. Don't think I can compete for bicycles. What can I push for to get decent points? So, you're not planning to make bicycles at all. Um, two rivers is good, and it's a plain. I used to always like going for, um, back, back in the day it was uniforms, if you had a lot of rivers, they're pretty easy to make and you need a lot of water for that build. 
I believe now you can do fabric boxes and there'd probably be even more points. So if you want to do uniforms or possibly transition to fabric boxes, which requires uniforms and wooden boxes, I think wax. That, that would probably be pretty good. And you, you could probably get top 1,000 with that, but like not real, real high. What would be something good to start with and sell? If you're on the desert, flour, but eventually transition to wool because it's way more money. And then eventually transition to iron, I would say. But if you're on the... If you're on a forest, you could just start off with wool. There's more money. You could do sugar also, but I would just say start with wool if you're on a forest. Or you have a uh, river on the side. If you have passive water, you can just start with wool. I'm happy now. <laughs> so you got the, the epic silent ride? Oh, so you can do uh, Oprah Rush, but um, you might need energy, I'm assuming. Which you're probably getting from the uh, wind turbine. But yeah, the oak barrels sell for a good amount. You can see I'm uh, 1.8 million, 42 minutes into the competition, but I'm also spending that money on all this stuff. So the, or the ornaments make everything cheaper, so that helps out. Zhao Li, how you get legendary cards, sir? Do you mean the legendary um, effect cards? For those you have to play in the NFT reward competitions and you have to get top 600. And it takes like a month for them to distribute the reward, but eventually you'll get the reward. Awesome. So who do you think's gonna win? Argentina or Cortia? You know, um, honestly, I haven't even been keeping up with it. <laughs> like yesterday I was just here practicing this uh build I'm gonna make just to make sure it works. And it sorta of works. I might go broke. How long has the games been going on? Yeah. For that's been going on for like a whole week, huh? Nah, I, I don't really keep up with it though. Uh, I'm gonna have to move my green dragon somewhere else because I do need a paved road there. Where did I have it? At? This is it for my uh, rush. So I'm looking at my uh, finished build design. I'm gonna have my dragon somewhere over here. Somewhere. Eventually, I will need two ponds over here. Over here and here. Okay. And eventually, I'll also need two ponds over here. So, my final build will only have the four ponds. Imagine that. I see. Thank you, sir. I'm just want to learn about this. Oh, okay. I'm assuming you probably never play Town Star or you just don't play it that often. I have a lot of uh, video guides on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Um, um, but I usually post a video before the next competition begins. And Usually I'll show a build showcase that'll give you a rough idea of what you need to build and explain what I recommend for the competition. I say I usually show a build showcase. I can't guarantee I'll show one all the time. Like I try, I try my best. Uh, usually, usually with no NFTs, not always. 
Top 400. Are you saying you're in the top 400? That's good. But um, it's too early for the rankings to really matter. I need this builder house now. I need my paved road. And these will be paved roads eventually. And I'm going to need water pumps later here. Um, you can go somewhere else because I need a water pump there eventually. Yeah, I'm just planning ahead. Good to plan ahead just in case. Water pumps there. Um, no, I'll deal with this section later. The good thing is I have a uh, oak wood on the side, so I can build these pretty quickly. So when can I move my dragon? I'll probably move it right now. So I'm gonna lose a a feed cell. Actually, let me turn that off temporarily. I'm gonna move my dragon over here. This is where I plan to have it in the end. You get my money. Give me my money. There you go. Yeah, green dragon. Road and turn on auto sell. There you go. Have y'all done the uh what is it called? The gleam contest? The NFT giveaway? Gleam contest, I think. Am I saying it right? The yeah, the gleam contest. They're going to give away 12 NFTs, one NFT a day. Um, it's like you enter. There's different ways to enter. Honestly, I haven't even done it yet. I probably, I don't even know if I'll get to it today. The, the, the NFTs are pretty good. But the odds of winning, very slim. Like, very, you're very unlikely to win, to be completely honest. But if you do win... Um, I would say most, probably all those NFT rewards are worth about like $100 worth in value right now. So they're pretty good NFTs. Reed Costa, don't you think that 800 gala a month for top 100 is like nothing? Having an account, the investment with you for experience with thousands of dollars in investment. No, it's nothing. It really isn't anything. 800 gala, what is that, like $20? No, maybe the price, maybe the value of gala will go up eventually. And since I don't sell that gala, I have it in the treasure chest. The uh, treasure chest is not minted. I I keep it there. Maybe the value of gala will go up. I can't. It's just speculation. But if it does, like, hey, it's going to be worth more than those $20. But, uh, obviously, it could go down even more. Then it'd be worth less. Um, it's just It's just an extra reward. Maybe it'll be worth something in the future. I'm going to spend it right now. But if you ask me, is it worth all the effort? If you're doing it just for the money? No, it's not worth all the effort. Um, I think it's a fun game. Eventually it'll get funner, I'm sure. They're working on it. Obviously this game isn't perfect. It could be way better. But uh, I still enjoy playing it. It's very strategic. Wait, do we have to have... Do we have to do the Gleam Contest daily? Actually, I'm not completely sure. From my understanding, it was... You know, I'm not really sure. I, I kind of thought it was a daily thing. Maybe you just do it once and you're entered for all the other 12 days. I haven't confirmed that. Yeah, be on the lookout for that because I haven't confirmed that. But I haven't done it yet. Um, the first day's reward is a five pack of Pave Road NFTs. And you know I have a Pave Road NFT, but I almost never use it. 
Like, if I use it, it's going to be at the end of a build in case there's a some kind of emergency and I need to temporarily remove a paved road or add one somewhere. Like, that's the only way I'll use my paved road NFC. Otherwise, I don't really bother. Like, it's, it's a decent NFT, but it's not like a must-have. And what, what do paved road NFTs go for? Like, $20 each, maybe? $2.3 million, 51 minutes into the competition. So how much money do you all think I will make per hour, which is over? Because I'm going to build some of my finished build, but nothing that's going to cost me, that's going to increase my wages, because I don't want to waste that much money. Can I ask for advice or how much you suggest us to invest if we want to play and earn on this? Well, play and earn the traditional way with the town points is currently not available as this. You will get your stars, you will collect a reward. If you try to do that, it's just going to say no rewards will be given for any town points. Um, eventually, that will be coming back when the they say it'll be on as soon as the new version of Town Star comes up, which would probably be by the beginning of February. They said the end of January, but probably February. And um, if, if it starts, if that's when Play and Earn starts, they they might still change the value of the NFTs. So the NFTs that still give town points, they'll continue to give town points, but they may change the value. So it's hard to say for certain. I would say wait, wait and see how much uh, points each NFT gives. But of course, that's a risk because once that's announced, they might change the uh, price of those NFTs on OpenSea. Um, I wouldn't really suggest investing right now because I can tell you if you're trying to make money from this, at least right now, it's probably not going to happen. If you're going to stick around for May Mayhem 2023 and you're skilled at the game, like I think skill is way more important, you might be able to win like a good chunk of money that month. Maybe. Don't know for certain. But I would say just play the game and get good at it first. If you do buy any NFTs, my best recommendations are wheat stands, water towers. If you're going to go for passive oil, go for the ones that give two passive oil. But that's if you want to go the route of buying NFTs. You do not have to. $1 billion, Pinky Clips. You're going to have to invest $1 billion. <laughs> Don't do that. On that topic, why they remove the ten point rewards if they're getting them back? Oof, it's a long subject. They um, well, they remove them in June or July, but the economy is a mess. It doesn't make sense. Hopefully, it makes sense when they bring it back, um, because they're not going to mint more town than there already was uh, circulating. There was like five hundred. 12 million circulating something like that and now it's like 380 million or something because uh they recently said they burned like 80 million town they burned a lot of it so the circulating supply of town is going to go down which makes it more scarce but the way they're going to distribute town points is going to change it's not going to be the same as last time like for the time being there's still going to be these daily rewards and they're still going to be easy like like a couple stars Eventually, they're going to make it harder. They've been saying that for months, so take that with a grain of salt. But uh, a good chunk of the town points, uh, the town rewards, will come from competitions moving forward. They uh, just they describe that in the light paper. If you, ha if you haven't checked it out, I suggest you check it out because it's going to be way more specific. So they'll bring back play and earn, but it's not going to be exactly the same. So maybe way less time points for the NFTs than originally. Possibly way less. Possibly more. My opinion, if I had to speculate, boxes are probably going to stay the same. Hold on, they're going to stay the same. But all the other NFTs that give time points already, they're going to go up. So that way, they don't really... I'm sure some people will be pissed off, but... um. 
the boxes will be completely the same, same style points. But like, say you're a legendary water tower that gives 72 town points. Now it's going to give like 300 or something. That's just an example. I don't know. I'm just speculating. To me, that would make sense. Because they, they, they can't say like, hey, we're lowering the, the points on box. Because that, that doesn't sound good. But if they say we're increasing the points on the other NFTs, this sounds good. Like, you would be happy you own one of these NFTs that give 5 town points and they're going to increase it to 20. Like, you'd probably be happy. That sounds good on paper. Ultimately, the Vox would earn less. We'll see. We'll see if it actually that way. That's just the way I speculate around it. Oak barrels stored in warehouse. They are. And I see I'm starting to get a little too much energy and I'm not using it. But, um... Hmm. There, for the time being, no more energy until I actually need it, which I might. I'm still waiting on these, though. Oh, it's because I got, um, it's because I got too much real quick. Let me transition back to oak barrels. What can I make? Do you think I really need the, uh, I probably won't need it anymore. I have plenty of energy. Because I really just need energy to build a power plant. The power plant will be right here. And then eventually I have another wood storage here. Okay. I could start building my mines, but not actually build them. Because if I actually build them, it's going to um, cost me... I'm going to lose money to wages. But it gives my builders something to do, you know what I mean? But uh, first of all is the power plant. I do think I'm going to need that. Even though it's going to suck up 225 per minute. But... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> not gonna do my whole build right away like because if i do that I'll, I'll run out of money and also i'm planning to build i think i'll just do five nukes and with the ornaments it's 2.5 million per nuke that's 12.5 million dollars so that probably won't be till tonight i'm gonna need a lot of money almost one hour into the competition cool How's everyone doing? You get to gas production. Uh, how long does that usually take? It, I think it takes me like an hour and a half to get to gas production without NFT. Or maybe... No, actually it doesn't take me that long. It takes me a little less than an hour. But usually the way I get to gas production is... um. I set up power plants before I even start crafting gas. That way, um, it starts crafting it faster with passive energy. I haven't really checked Discord. Three sheet pens is good. You should see my wool rush one of these days. One of these competitions, I'm gonna do the wool rush. I love doing the wool rush. The last competition was pretty interesting because um, I think I only needed like six sheep pens, and then I transitioned right to uh milk. And milk didn't give that much cash, but um, what was it with the ornaments? Like it wasn't even an issue. Gas production in about four hours. Does it really take that long? Oh. Like with no NFTs at all? I guess it depends. Oh, well, once you run out of cash though? I mean, out of gas? Okay. Do I need this built right now? Probably not. I'm just gonna 
30 per minute. I'm just trying to decide what I can do to not pay so much in wages. Because if I build the power plant, it's 225 per minute. I'm being stingy with the money because I know I'm going to need it. Because um, this build is going to take up a lot of money in wages. And bicycles do not give that much money. And I know they cash boosted magic powder, but I do not like the way you craft magic powder. You pay, you pay how much for the wizard? The the master wizard, I think it was a, a thousand per minute and that's with all the ornaments. So without ornaments, it's 2000 per minute. For just to craft magic powder that sells for 25,000 each. And it's annoying to think because you need 10 water for the pumpkins. Uh, you need brine. You probably don't have a notion, so you can't even make green timer brine. It's a big old mess. Is anyone planning to do magic powder? Like, let me know. I'm not saying don't do it. It's just I don't, I don't like it. They needed to boost it to like 50k or 100k each, then it would have been viable. Or if you had like four NFT or Master Wizard Towers, maybe it'd be good, but um, that's expensive. Yeah, I'd be lucky if I could afford it. Yeah. Here, car noises in the background. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the audio is better than um. The last video I posted. I know the green screen's kind of like still gray. You can see it. I see it in the video. But it's just the lighting in this room is not that great. I gotta change out the light. And I did buy a, a a brighter light. I just haven't done that yet. I was too busy just practicing this build setup yesterday. Probably a big waste of time, but <laughs> oh, whatever. FS Trent, I did magic powder. You're making more green the barrels. So I am making more cash green the barrels. Huh. Yeah, but this isn't this isn't an easy setup. Like it's a lot of NFTs. Like imagine the silent ride, solar panel, and uh with the water towers. They're expensive NFT. Um, the big warehouse. But I got two of them. Originally, I just bought one, but then I bought a second one because Holroy convinced me that it was a very good NFT. And it is. If you own a dragon, these storages are freaking amazing. I also got two of the big storehouses. But um, ever since I bought them, I don't think I've had to use them yet. But like when we get a competition like the stack boxes again, that will come in handy. And I, I know somebody asked me, do you think stacked boxes are returning? And honestly, I think they will. I'm just speculating. I like to speculate. But I, I think they probably do, like, one of the main Mayhem competitions be uh, stacked boxes. Just to screw everyone over. Because a lot of people do not like that. I actually don't even like doing them. I failed that competition. I didn't get the uh, Ancient card. I got the Legendary card. I think I placed rank. 221. And I thought I'd get pushed up, but no, no. Say that legendary. That was for the um the the uh lumber one. The legendary guided blades. Which is still really good. It makes all these uh old girls faster and it makes lumber incredibly fast. I don't have lumber on right now. I realize that. I keep making lumber. I could store up to 100. Then it'll help out later when I'm building everything else. What was that car? Which car are you talking about? Are you talking about the Legendary Silent Ride? 
Because there was also some car that passed by the street. <laughs> I don't know if you actually heard that one. This is a legendary Stephen, right? He just goes everywhere, tramples on my trees. He has two passive iron. So that makes up for him uh, ruining my trees. Um, I think it plays music. I just don't, don't ever have it. I'm not gonna turn it on. Though. Okay. I don't have music for this stream. Um, eventually I'll figure that out. I was going to, but uh, I don't really have time. I'm gonna make sure I can actually live stream. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Watching it with the hydraulics. Yeah, it's the. Low Rider Legendary Slime Ride. Snoop Dogg NFT car. For blue steel builds, this thing is amazing. Like y'all will watch me uh put an X30 uh, steel mills in uh later when when I actually make the finished build. Um I'm not sure what, what's the plan. I think I'm going to eventually probably go get something to eat and um stream again at night and start doing the final build i guess because i'm probably gonna leave it making old barrels for a good couple of hours that, that might be what i do for now it seems you know what i accidentally made a wooden box <laughs> did anyone catch that <laughs> let's make lumber so now I got a wooden box here. Cool. Get rid of it later. Eventually I'll move these over here. Closer. Um. Okay, so what I can do is start building the mines, but don't actually build them. That gives my two builders something to do. I need to give them something to do, because they're just eating out my wages so this will take them a long time but that's fine and eventually i'll need more energy but that's why i turned this red wind turbine back on it's gonna slowly make energy this is going to take 60 energy hmm. it's gonna take a while and i'll move my feed bot somewhere else i could actually move them here What do I have over here? Oh, I know what to do. Eight rows here. And two rows there. Oh, no. oh maybe I can't do that. We'll see. I keep trying to quickly place my feet off. Okay. Move out of the way. I have a terrible storming come my way. I hope I don't lose internet. I think it is supposed to uh, rain or storm here too. I wouldn't say terrible. I'm not really sure though. One reason I can't wait for good up. Good though. So my town can keep going. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, that way I won't have to worry about these game crashes. I have no clue my game's gonna crash um for this competition because like I said I got a new computer, it's running super good, but um I hope my game doesn't crash while I'm away. I, I don't work today and I don't work tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm usually like out. And um Thursday and Friday I go to work. And also Thursday I'm going to the movies, so I'm only gonna like check in over here for a while. So if my game crashes, I'm screwed. But like I'm not competing for an NFT this time. It's just gala, so I won't be that upset. <laughs> uh on the the sag box competition, my game crashed like literally an hour after i went to work and it was so bad because i i lost like seven or eight hours and that's why i didn't get top 200 on that one 
I know it happens to some people. It's like eventually I'll have two loggers over here. I'm just thinking ahead. See, it, it's good to practice because you'll know where you want everything to be and you'll know sort of that it works. Sort of at least. Mm, but practicing takes hours. Quite even a whole day. So it's it's just a matter of putting time into it. And if you don't practice, it's probably because you don't think the game's fun and that, that's understandable. Or it just takes too long and really it does take too long. Uh, another thing people do is just design their builds on the townguide.eu website and that's usually what I do as well. Um, that way even if you don't practice it like you have a rough idea of what you want to build and then you'll tweak it from there so i had to remind myself not to click any of these mines i don't actually need them right now How much stuff can I build for later? Some people are probably wondering, like, wow, how does he know where to put everything already? <laughs> I have my uh, build design on the side. I just don't want to show it in case somebody beats me to it. Who knows, maybe Zex watching. We got JJ at eight. Are you doing decorated cake? Pickle cake. Hmm. How's everyone doing? Hot and cheesecake, 41. What am I doing right here? Waiting for everything to build. Where's first place at? What spot did they get? I see him. Desert Mountain, first place. Kind of thought they would go for like Desert Mountain River or something. But, um, he probably has a bunch of NLPs. Mm. Oh, this is a really good spot over here in, uh, West United States because there's a lot of mountain desert spots. Um, like, I don't know if y'all saw at the beginning of the stream, but I like went right towards, well, I accidentally went over here to uh, South America. That was an accident. But yeah, I went to Africa because this is where I practiced. And like this January also has a lot of desert and mountains. And you're either going to be close to this city or you're going to be somewhat close to that one. Amen. Those UFO delivery trucks go so fast. Wonderful, slowly removing trees to start gas production. Nice. Uh, competition takes seven days to get the winner, I see. Do you mean like the payouts? So the competitions last four days. And after that, lately it's been taking like a whole month to even get a payout. And for this competition, it's a gala reward competition. So top 1,000 in the leaderboards will get a gala payout. And the exact rewards are on the Townstar announcements channel, where I also have them on the Townstar playbook. And on the Townstar playbook, I have a rough estimate of what the USD value will be. Uh, 
I was gonna try to figure out if I could stream to a uh, YouTube and Twitch at the same time, but I, I don't I don't think I've ever really used Twitch. I'll figure out that out later. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I can I know some people stream to two different platforms at the same time, but I haven't figured that out. Sorry if I make a mistake, sir. I'm still learning. No problem. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what you meant. Because um, otherwise, I'll, I'll give you an answer. But then that might not be what you're looking for. I'm trying to help you out as much as I can. Especially right now. So I'm just waiting. Um, I realize I can actually get these ponds built right now. Not really sure. I'm gonna have to temporarily remove these. So, in case y'all didn't see earlier, I removed my legendary water towers, temporarily placed them near the ponds, and they instantly build because they got ambassador water. Damn. That's why I don't need no uh, wells to get water from. It's so nice. These two legendary water towers are amazing. Um, I got to do the same thing over here. And got to put it back here. Or else my trees won't grow. What's it looking like? Do I? Yeah, I'm still making lumber. It's just they're all going towards these mines. That's cool. So I got ponds, so I can put my trees back here. Will this? Hmm. I don't think I actually need these. I'll put them back if I need them, but I don't actually think I need them anymore. And I don't need that either. The The thing is, if I put more trees, I probably don't even need them. Because I already have oak uh, wood going into the uh, wood storage. I'm going to do it anyways, but I probably don't need to do this. It's just too many trees at this point. Oh, so I do need the water right there, but um, let's, I'll temporarily put this down. Ah, see, and I need it over there. Okay, um, I do kind of still need those water NFTs there. Um, can I make this work? So let's see. Does that work? Yeah, I think so. Need to add a uh, a row to here. Oh, I wish. What are you wishing? Yeah, at least it's not getting stuck with the uh, oak barrels and the feed. Uh, hour and 20 minutes in, I'm at 4.5 million cash. How much cash can I get in, like, what, six hours from now? When I finish my build, it should make about 18 bicycles per hour. But the issue is I'm actually going to be losing money every hour. I'm not exactly sure how much. Uh, I have ideas on how to reduce the money I lose, but I'm still going to lose money. So I need to build up a lot of cash. And if I eventually run out of money and the competition is not over yet, I'm going to have to reduce the amount of bicycles I make and make steel 
excess steel so I can sell it. Or excess blue steel. That takes forever though. But that way I'll actually have a way to generate cash. But it, of course it'll kill my uh, bicycle rate. You wish to have water NFT and power NFT. Those are always necessary. Water, definitely. No, I guess power is too. But the thing with the, uh, at least the solar panels, the regular and the rare, once you get to your finished build, you don't use it because you have power plants or nuclear power plants that are way better. Um, of course, the people who have legendary solar panels or the legendary Tesla coils, they're amazing. Like, they're always going to use those. That's like a luxury NFT, like, super expensive. So, anything... You know, I think the reason... I think I can actually put a... Paved road here, yeah. So I can move my uh, water top here. It's gonna take a while to even build it now. Because building all these mines super slowly. Mm, too much old wood. Perhaps put down some regular tree. It's windy outside right now. I don't actually, it's not raining. It's just windy. It'll probably rain soon. I plan to have a whole road section here, but that's going to have to wait for later. Yeah, I can't do that right now. Uh, I could pay that one. Coin cord. 18 bicycles an hour. That's the goal. I practiced this build yesterday and I was making between 18 to 19 bicycles per hour. Which I think that's really good. I know some people are going to do more, of course. But, um... The build's not going to sustain itself. It's not going to make enough cash. I've never got to nuclear power plant. Other than energy craft, doesn't do anything else. It just crafts energy every 20 seconds. It doesn't need any other materials. So that's it. It's just ridiculously expensive. It's 10 million to build. And um, I think the wages are, I want to say, 2,500 a minute, 3,000 a minute wages uh, without any ornaments so with the full set of ornaments it's still kind of pricey but like it's doable and it saves space it's just really expensive and i need them for the way i'm going to do my uh, pottery shops they're going to have energy but they're not going to have uh, dirty pollution and if I want to have full passive energy everywhere for my build, I need six nuclear power plants, but I might just do five and have one regular power plant, which is this one right here. Can y'all see the cursor? Yeah, y'all can see the cursor. Um, but with, that means I'm going to have to manually make energy for my blue steel, but I can sell the excess energy for a little bit, more, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. How many mines are planned? Do you see all these mines I built? <laughs> I'm actually going to have this full row with mines, 16. Eventually, I'll move that. After all these builds, I guess. I'll move it later. That's amazing. In practice, I managed to get 14. Well, that's really good. Um, I'm assuming you use NFTs, because 14 without NFTs, I don't even know if that's possible. Um, I got nine with just the ornaments, so I imagine without any NFTs, you could probably do six or seven with a good uh, optimized build. It just depends on what you're doing for cash, I think. That's a nope for me. <laughs> Too expensive. Um, if you got no NFTs, 
you may have to make a build with just power plants because those nuclear power plants suck up too much cash and you're not getting cash for those bicycles not very much anyways so no extra shadow mines no 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 extra shadow mines um that's i wanted the mountain because they could get the resources as quickly as possible i use a lot of nfc ah more than me I think this is, I think I have a lot of NFCs, but like, I know some people, stupid amount, I don't even know if they even use them all or play Telstar, but like, I've seen, they, some people have a lot of NFCs. I got one of my loggers, built. I just don't want to use them right now. They have a uh, higher wages. You can see my wages are only 770. Um. And I think everybody is working. Actually, I have a lot of builder. I forgot I had a lot of builder houses here that aren't even doing anything. Let me get rid of that. And I don't think I even need this builder house either. There we go. And I'm gonna have another mine over here. I'm gonna keep these four builder houses as well. I forgot for some reason I thought I only had two builder houses. I forgot I put these here. Oh. I have Turkey NFT. Maybe they can egg my later. <laughs> Are you using it though? I have it too. Um I got it off OpenSea for like seven dollars. This one right here. Uh ever since I bought it, I haven't had a need to make the uh chickens. But eventually, yeah. And um, one second faster egg time. That's like that's like nothing. I don't think you'd win like an extra dollar or a penny for a one second faster egg time. Yeah, the turkey NFT is powerful. Is it? <laughs> Is it what happens? You 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 get thirty chickens and then maybe you save one one spot maybe thirty chickens one second faster on each. It's not it's not anything game breaking. I'm sure it probably looks cool. Like I said, I don't think I I don't I haven't built one. I mean, this looks cool. Oh, this one did build. Cool. And this one did build too. All right. So I think on my finished build design, I have the legendary water tower moved one over. And. All right. Everything still has. No, because this one doesn't have faster water. So is this moved over as well? It is. Okay. So on my finished build, I have, um, this one's also moved over. No, I hope I didn't, like, mess them up. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Okay, so that's supposed to go there eventually. And there's this one, right? Is this supposed to be like that? No, yeah, that's right. And there should be five of seven. Okay, yeah, I think eventually I'll have my uh, water towers like that. And then this will be a paper. Just planning ahead. I think I have five water there. But, um... I have too much uh, oak trees, not enough wood, not enough wood to put in the lumber yard, but um, enough wood for the lumber mill, I guess, I'm going to add more, probably not making it fast enough, the lumber. What do you know about next competition, NFT, how much reduced the tree timer? So the next competition will be Boom Canes, 
the reward is set to be the tree farm ghost card so it's going to make your trees faster which is amazing that's one that people have been asking for that's going to save you so much space like i think it's even more powerful than the uh the windmill one because you don't use windmills in every situation but you always use trees um how much will it reduce the tree farm timer i don't know if it's going to be the same as all these other ghost cards it might actually be lower because like i said when when it comes to trees you make a lot of trees so it, i don't think they would want to make it overpowered i can't give you any numbers like i don't know but i don't think it's going to be the same as the other one is it going to be a good NFT? Yes, I do believe it'll be a very good NFT regardless. Hopefully I can win an ancient one on those. However, I don't know if I'm going to have time to even come up with a build design for that one for myself. So we'll see, yeah. Well, like I'll probably come up with a design, but I'm not going to practice it like I practiced this one. Not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna have time because I'll be. I mentioned this on my last video, but I'm gonna go on vacation the week before uh, Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna go to Las Vegas, enjoy some paid time off from work. And um, if I have spare time, I'll come up with a build design. But I probably, I might not have time to test it. Maybe I will the day before, it's just hard to say right now. Do you think the NFT price will go back to the old time highs? Like Dragon Below for Ethereum. Dragon used to be for Ethereum? Remember. Do I think it would go back up? It's hard to say. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to say. It's just, we're going to have to see until Crypto on Townstar comes out. And we'll see how many bugs it has because they say it's going to be bug proof. Oh, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> I would love it to be bug proof, but that never happens. That's not a thing. It's going to be, uh, somebody's going to find a bug. Hopefully, nothing bad. Um, if the game is bug free, it works completely well, way better than uh, this works right now. There's not going to be a land rush, and um, the game will operate while you're away. People are going to love playing that more than they enjoy playing this version, and the game will get popular. Um, another thing that has to happen is I believe the rewards have to get better, if that's even possible. And that might happen if there's more players, so they'll need more players. And if there's more players, then the prices of the NFTs could get higher. You will get the Ancient for sure. Well, I appreciate that. Um, somebody said that last time, and it didn't happen. <laughs> I would hope so, right? I would hope so. I gotta get, in order for me to feel confident, I have to get 200th place or, or better. Like, if I get 200 first place, I'm like, I ain't getting the Ancient. I will work on the next competition. I hope for a legendary. Yeah, I mean, hey, even even if I could go get a legendary, that'd be really good. Yeah, if I get less than the legendary, then then I would be uh, upset. Um, all the work I put in and the NFTs, like oof. I'm really hoping after end of January, the game will be more amazing after the game. I hope so too. I hope it doesn't get delayed. But yeah. Yeah. It looks like the screenshots they share and the ideas, like with the no land rush and the new UI, it looks good. It does look good. But until we get to play it in person, um, it's just pictures. And I guess sometimes they share video. Um, hopefully they'll let some of us play test it. I'm going to ask if I can. I have no clue if I'll be able to make a video out of it. But like, Hey, if I can, that's cool. Then I'll give you my opinion on it. Hmm, where to move the fuel storage? Hmm. 
Well, I got rid of my fuel storage, but it depends on your situation. So do you have passive crude oil from the oil seed? Because if you do, you want your fuel storage to be closer to the refinery making gasoline. Otherwise, if you have it close to the refinery making petroleum, you're going to overfill it with petroleum and you're going to jam your fuel storage. If you don't have passive oil and you're using crude oil pumps, you want it to be as close to the refinery making petroleum as possible because they're constantly going to be going for it. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I never build crude oil pumps anymore. I just use the um the uh well I use the haunted NFT, but even if I try to do this with no NFTs, I'll use the oil seed. We're an hour and 37 minutes into the competition. Wow. Really, there's not that much I can do right now because um I'm sort of planning how my build will look like in the end. But it's going to be a lot of waiting for uh, Oak Barrel. Uh, uh, so, so what I'm planning on doing is probably ending the stream at like, well, in my time, it's 1 o'clock, but in 20, 30 minutes from now. And I'll probably stream later in the evening or tonight, I'm not really sure, and then start actually making my final build. Um, in the meantime, I don't think I'll really build anything too major in between. I'm just going to let it run and make money from Oprah. Now, I know some people are just going to run, rush straight to their final build. But um, I'll run out of money fast if I do that. Plus five nuclear power plants is going to cost me twelve point five million. Like that's a big chunk of the money. I think the final build. How much would the final build cost me? Does it say on here? Seventeen point eight million, and I'm assuming that's with the ornament. I think my final build will cost me about eighteen million with the full set of ornaments. And then I got to figure out how much. Cash I'm gonna be losing every hour. So I'm at six million cash, a little less than two hours. I'll probably let this run for at least six hours, honestly, before I even start building. Maybe even seven or eight. Before you go, just gotta say and thanks. And love you. Good luck. Thank you so much. I'm not gonna leave yet. But maybe like twenty minutes. But yeah, I thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll try to get. Um, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Or maybe I already hit it. I don't know. I haven't really checked. That's super close. So I appreciate everybody for helping me uh, reach a thousand subscribers. Big milestone. Thank you. How much for nuclear? It's ten million regular. So with all the ornaments, it's two point five million. expenses for the last i was it the last meta that it was like yeah the last meta it was cheaper it was just a million and that was amazing i kind of wish they'd keep it at that price but i understand they gotta make stuff expensive especially with the uh cash buff uh the way they they're setting up these competitions these two months everything's gonna be like inflated in cash so if you don't have the full set of ornaments you're gonna be at a big disadvantage it's gonna be annoying because everything costs so much. Well, and not necessarily everything costs so much, but um, the meta item doesn't give that much cash. So bicycles don't give that much cash. And I'm pretty sure the next competition, the boom canes probably won't give that much cash either. So, yeah. I would say we have the next competition is two weeks from now. I would suggest if you're gonna participate in it, I would suggest practicing. If I can, I'll probably try to come up with a build the next couple of days. 
if I can, I I'm gonna be pretty busy to be honest, cause I gotta get ready for my trip to Vegas on Sunday. Can y'all can y'all hear a train in the background? I didn't really like test that with my mic to see how much background noise I could hear. I kind of figured out how to make it so the uh, clicking noise from the keyboard and the mouse don't really register. And as long as that's not lagging the stream, then that's good. Yeah, a choo choo. Yeah, yeah, I probably heard it loud. <laughs> I'm kind of just, I'm just glad it's not raining because y'all yeah, would probably hear that too. Um, the app is not raining. Yeah, like on my last video, I had a freaking neighbor's dog was barking. And then the other neighbor has a rooster. <laughs> so I hear that in the, in the morning and in the evening. But yeah, you definitely hear that through the uh, mic. The Discord's usually pretty quiet when the competition starts. Everybody's uh, so focused on actually working on their build. Sounds like a farm life to me. That sounds like it, honestly. Freaking dog and roosters. But I don't think you would hear train noises on the farm. Wiggler of Butts. Interesting name. <laughs> Thanks for everything. I tell everyone I know who's playing to use your content. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, especially the, the Townstar playbook is super helpful. For everyone. And it took a good, good amount of time to make that, but like, it's super helpful. No, I, I use it myself. I know everybody uses it, but I also use it. Um, I don't remember everything from the top of my head. Anybody ever had issues getting into the uh, Townstar playbook? Because I know it. Um, if a hundred people are on it, it starts to give you a error message. Like fifty-seven people on it. Yeah, if you ever get an error message looking at the Tom Store playbook, there's uh, another way to look at it. The web version. It doesn't let you click the links, but um, an unlimited amount of people can actually look at it. And I think I only have that link on my uh, Discord profile. Close that Discord. Uh, I'm about to fall off top time. That's cool. That's fine. Let's see, to place. All right. So I'll probably head out in like 15 minutes. But yeah, if y'all have any questions, uh, let me know. Cause uh, I don't think there's really anything else I can do right now except pave a couple roads, maybe. But still, yeah, it's still slowly working on these mines that I'll need later. Could make a beekeeper here, far into the future, but yeah, I could put that there. I can make the uh, wood storages that I'll eventually have in the yard. Is it? Oh yeah, it's selling my old girls, right? Yeah. Just finished the gas setup. Nice. Uh, hour forty five minutes in. Sounds about right. I, um, the only thing I probably should do is set up auto sell for energy just in case 
for some reason it just starts crafting too much. Yeah, I always make sure you set up everything on auto sell just in case because I jam my builds before doing that. Forget to sell something. Forget to put something in auto sell and the storage just gets too full. My puppies are half Australian shepherds. They will <laughs> they're full bugs. Not just the tip. So I use Wiggler of Bugs on Discord and just leave it. <laughs> That's cool. Two roads right here. I can't fake this road though because then I'm going to interrupt the uh, poke barrel. I don't want to do that. Let's see, this road right here I can pave because I'll eventually have that road. And then this right here eventually will be a paved road. Uh, the amazing thing of having a, a build you know that works that you've practiced. You'll know where everything goes, sort of. Is that right? That one doesn't look right to me. I don't think that's uh that's because it's not right. That's not the that doesn't go there, that goes here. Hmm Yeah I can take that. Oh, it'll all work itself out later. You, you guys will see. Not right now, but later. This one there. And there's going to be one the road right there. And one right here where I have the wind from mine, fortunately. Just going to have to wait for later. Maybe, maybe it can move the wind turbine. Okay, I gotta try to set energy on the auto cell. There we go. As for that wooden box, I accidentally made it. Oh well, can't get rid of it. It's gonna stay there for a while. I don't think I'll jam my warehouses now. Where can I? I'll just put the wind turbine over here. Yeah, uh, I'll just put it right here. So I can have a paper right there for way later. Paper right here. Paper right there. Oh, they're building pretty fast. Can I make no, I can't do anything. I can make a favorite over here. It's kind of tricky trying to figure out where some of these roads are going to be in the end. I don't want to put them in the wrong spot. Like I could move these. And I might do that honestly. I might just move some of this around so I can plan out my roads better. It's gonna help um later on. Can I pave this? Sure. I'll move this around somewhere else. Oh yeah, we're planning ahead. Once again, I'll, I'm gonna end the stream in 10 minutes.
it can be a good evening a good evening time and eventually i'll stream again and continue building once i have way more cash saved up thank you everyone who sticked around 35 viewers is a lot more than i thought i'd get Doesn't seem like the stream lags at all, so that's good. Okay. You did get on the stream. Thank you so much, Streamer Lee. I didn't even know you were watching. You're welcome. We enjoyed this. You got to see my secret oak barrel rush. Tibor, thanks again. Eventually, I'm going to have... Um, loggers right there and oh yeah I'm, I'm thinking way ahead here so like this is where i'm gonna have most of my loggers oh. yeah, so that means i'll temporarily move my uh lumberjacks like anywhere else this is temporarily i might be i might just get rid of this whole feed rush thing now maybe i'll just get rid of these feed speed mills i probably don't need them most of the time they're just uh, dropping feed. Okay, so, oh, shoot. Which ones are my lumberjacks? <laughs> okay. All right. Um. And we've got another logger here. It'll all make sense later, trust me, guys. Oh, they're not built yet, so it's not affecting the tree. That, that might be the only section I can do right now. But um, at least when I start transitioning to my final build, I'm going to have a lot of loggers already built where they're, where I need them to go. And I'm going to get rid of these. That's probably more lumberjacks than I need, honestly. Oh, I was going to get rid of uh, these. Because I do have some paper roads over here. Oh, I do need a paper out here, huh? Oh yeah, I do need a paper out there. Better stream than me, Lightning like Warlord. Thanks for dropping by. No, this is my first stream ever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man. I just click go live. Can y'all even hear me? Not. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by though. I appreciate it. Are you doing this? Uh, are you participating in this competition, Lincoln? Or you don't you don't want to bother with bicycle? This isn't really a, a easy competition though. 
it's like it's it's most it's mostly blue steel but it, it's mm, twice as hard of course man good stuff all right cool <laughs> oh you're also streaming right now you know i i usually watch your streams too but <laughs> This time, I'm going I'm to stream it this time. I would definitely be stealing your build. This one right here? This build? You're you going to steal the NFTs too, or what? <laughs> no, but yeah, you, you could... Uh... But the one I shared, the one I shared is pretty good, if you have the ornament. Borrowing. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, you can borrow it. I haven't shown what it'll look like at the end, but I'm probably giving a pretty good idea of what I'm going for. But uh, you can't you can't tell what the end result is just yet. Oh, man, do your thing, of course. Trevor Belanti, wait, streaming on streaming. That's Mobius Loop territory. I don't know. Is liking showing my stream? Maybe he is. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Rich V, like in Warlord Raid. Oh, hey, Rich V. Is it really a raid? Yeah, check it out. Cool, yeah, check it out. I'm probably going to stop streaming in a couple minutes. I said we're going to stop already, so. Um, let me just make sure I have uh, everything that I was planning on building here. Because I can actually add a couple more loggers where I plan to have them at. I just need these payrolls to finish. Dreamerly and all you need is music and your set. Well, yeah, I was gonna um find out how to uh have background music. You know, like 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 in Warlord has in the streams, but background music is cool, jamming. But um, I I actually didn't really have time to figure that out. Eventually, like in Warlord, what's the NFT in between the lumber mills next to the Snoop? Rare solar panel. That gives two passive energy, which lets me do oak barrels with passive energy and also uh, lumber. Most importantly, lumber, because that needs two energy. So I can do something that I call a lumber rush, which basically lets me make lumber right from the start. Yeah, rare solar panel. Rich B, you both are a great help. Of course, and thank you. So let's see before I before I do leave, I do want to add loggers. I don't think it'll kill my current oak barrel situation right here, but um, it'll come in handy later when I'm trying to do my uh, finished build setup. Just trying to think ahead, slowly build all this stuff with um, what four builders. Mm. Yeah, I could put one here as well. I'm gonna eventually have my oh gosh, I'm thinking way too early. <laughs> I'm it looks like I'm doing my final build. Like half of it. Hopefully, hopefully all of this is done by the time I uh start playing again. Very cool. All right, see you later. See you later, Lycan. Can I do something else while I'm gone? What else can I do while I'm gone? I can't I can't get rid of these roads. I need those right now. Yeah, I can't get rid of those. I can't really change anything over here. Actually I do want I am gonna want to have two paved roads here. Ah, but I can't get rid of it, that one. So, um, I'll, I'll add a paper to you, though. All right. I probably showed this in the thumbnail, but, um, it's blurry, but it's in the thumbnail. Eventually, this is where I'll have my steel mill set up. Or steel mill surrounded by a legendary silent right. 
these two will be rare water pumps. As I, uh, I do have two rare water pumps. The other one's over here for now, but eventually it'll move up here. And this section will be the primary section where I'll produce my steel. So that's just a heads up in case you're uh, trying to steal my build. I'm not making feed very fast anymore. I don't really see it. I don't think I can build anything else. Let's see how many how many frames per second am I getting on this computer? God, <laughs> it's amazing. Sixty to seventy. Imagine that. Y'all guys know how much I complained about FPS. Like, I'd probably get 20 FPS at this point. I think I can get up to 85 on this monitor. Oh, hey, okay. that's, that's a big help. Uh, I'll keep it on. That's, that's cool. It's, it's not embarrassing when it's 70 FPS, but when it's like 10 FPS, yeah, it's embarrassing. That's why I turn it off on my uh, Build Showcase videos. Um, no, I, I don't think I can build anything. All right, any last minute questions? Because, like, three minutes, three minutes, I'm going to head out in three minutes. I mean, I'm going to stop the stream in three minutes. I'll start streaming again probably tonight. Can't really give you an exact time, but, like, maybe six or seven hours, maybe six hours from now. I don't know how long it'll take me to finish the build. I don't even know if I'll have enough money for it to run for three whole days. I might not. Like, I really might not have enough money for it to run three days. But if that happens, I'll just come up with a situation. I'll sell steel instead of bicycles for a while or something. Oh, a good, a good two hours of gameplay, and I got this far with um, NFTs, of course. It was really good. So two hours, and then I don't know how many hours it'll take me to finish building everything else. But I got a, a good chunk of it on the board. I was just thinking, I hope this whole uh, recording saves. It should, because it's on YouTube. Like I said, it's my first stream. I don't really know how it works. But um, you should be able to uh, play it back anytime you want. And uh, my thumbnails, the uh, whenever I go live on the thumbnail, it'll have a little... Well, it'll say live. That's, that's how I plan on doing my thumbnails, at least. No magic powder for cash, says Zibor. I said this a couple of times, and I don't like magic powder because the Master Wizard takes a lot of money to build. The wages are very high, and magic powder is super annoying to make because you need pumpkins, which means you need 10 water. The uh, normal player will struggle to make pumpkins because they're going to need multiple ponds. You can't, you really can't go past the river because then you, you're not going to. You probably won't have to pass the the mountain and um you need brine so the only way to get green timer brine is either the ocean or the haunted maze zone 3 nft so in my opinion it's like a super in order to do it efficiently it's super expensive and even though i can do all that well i, I don't have the master wizard nft but even though i can i have the other nfts to do that it's it's annoying. Like, I don't want to go through all that just to make magic powder. That's why on my last video, honestly, it, I said it was cash boosted, but I said I don't recommend it. If you're doing it and it works well, cool, let me know. But, like, I just don't see a way where it works well unless you have, like, five Master Wizards and all the other NFTs I mentioned. Now, I could be wrong. I didn't test it out, but, like, nah, I'm not going to do magic powder. 
it's been two hours and I'm already at 7.5 mil cash and I built a bunch of stuff. Overall, is pretty good. Kind of hard to say how much cash I have by the time I start again. Probably not enough. Almost most likely not enough, but hopefully it works out. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. It's like I got, I got like 25 viewers. That's pretty good. Um, I'm about to end the stream in a minute. So thanks for, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. You saw all my secrets. I appreciate everybody so much. And thank you for watching. I'll be back in about uh, six hours. Bye-bye.